Hey guys, Jesso101 here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be looking at tutorial number 6, Randomized Chest Loot. So yeah, we're once again back in our tutorial world, and we'll be looking at how to randomize chest loot. So, I've got a loot chest here, and I've got a button to randomize the chest. And you can see... Every time I hit that, it plays a sound, plays, uh, it puts some particles around the chest, and it randomizes the loot. So I've got loot number four in this one. And yeah, if I press it again, I got it again. Okay, let's see if we can get a different one. There we go, loot number one. It's basically a really straightforward system to just randomize loot. So this can be good for like Hunger Games, Sky Wars, and all of that kind of jazz, all of that kind of jizz. You can also use this for like random kits, I guess, yeah. Okay, now let's set display the chest loot. So now it says chest loot on the side. Now press, if I press randomize chest, it says four on a chest loot. And it says loot number four here. So if I try it one more time, loot number three, and it says three on the scoreboard. So yeah, it's pretty nice. So now let's get into the commands. Hey guys, just a quick little interruption. Only 2.7% of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you do like my content and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I want to try and hit 1,000 before the end of the year, and if you can subscribe, it will help out a lot. Yeah, thank you. Okay, first things first, we need to add the chest loot scoreboard. This is as this whole system revolves around the scoreboard. So, we just need to type something like this. This bit over here is the name of the scoreboard, so you can type it however you want. I would recommend putting it within quotation marks if you have a space. And that's um, how it is displayed when you set display and then you need to do this command as well. So it won't do anything because I've already actually set display. I guess I can show you if I scoreboard objectives, remove chest loot, you add the chest loot scoreboard and then you need set display. So yeah. And right here, it right here for the randomizing the chest you need to do scoreboard players random at a chest loot 1 to 5 so basically that means that that all players will have the scoreboard chest loot randomized from 1 to 5 so it could be 1 2 3 4 or 5 any of those five numbers will just be randomized between so yeah if it was 1 to 20 it would pick any numbers between 1 and 20. So yeah, that's how that basically works. And then it sets a redstone block off in a distance. So these coordinates would be different for you, but in my world, so these coordinates are 77, 4, negative 13. And over here, these coordinates are 77, 4, negative 13. So it sets a redstone block here. This one just sets the redstone block above it to air, this is the y coordinate, so it means one block above this block is set to air, which is where the redstone block will be, and yeah. So these, I'll remove these barry blocks so I can show you what's actually in the chests. These are the different chests with the actual things that can be randomized, like the actual loot. So loot number one has this loot, loot number two has this loot, Loot number three has this loot, loot number four has this loot, and loot number five has this loot. And it has these special names because I just renamed it in an anvil, and that's like, this is just for the purpose of this tutorial. You can do it however you want in your own world. Now comes a more complicated bit. You need to be a little bit familiar with, with clone commands in order to do this well. So basically, there are 
So basically for every score, possible score, there's a different command block. So this one is impulse, conditional, and needs redstone. And you need to ex execute as at A, scores equal chest loot equal 1, to clone from here to there to there. Yep, it's... Oh, man, 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 man. That's a bummer. So guys, here comes a more complicated bit. So basically, since like when the redstone block is set here, it goes through all of these command blocks. You may notice that they're unconditional. So no matter what, they'll just repeat after each other because they're also always active. So basically, the first one is if the scoreboard equals one for the player. The second one is if the scoreboard equals two for the player. Go back here. The third one is if it equals four to three to the player, sorry. And this one is if their scoreboard is four, and if their chest loot is five. And then this is by default, it will play a totem particle at those coordinates. So 8150 is where the chest is. So so yeah you can see my position says 8150. So that's where it will play the, the um totem particles. And this is play sound random dot level up at a range equals 20. So it will just play the level, it will just play like that special sound that you can hear like here whenever you press it. Okay, so let's explain this now. So you need to use a clone command for, every, for each of these. So for example, if chest loot equals 1, you need to clone from 77. 4 negative 8, 77, 4 negative 8, and then 81, 5, 0. So basically, you just need to put 77, 4 negative 8 twice. And that, the first two coordinates, indicates the position of the chest. So from this 77 to that negative 8. Those are the first two coordinates, and they indicate the first, that indicates the actual positioning of the first chest. So yeah, we can remember that the chords are 77, 4, negative 8, and when I stand on top of this chest, it says it says the same chords in the position. The position in the top left corner, if you haven't figured that out, if you haven't figured that out, but yeah. So if we look in here, it says loot number 1, and has all of this. And if you look here again, it only executes when the chest loot equals 1. So yeah, it's pretty flawless. And the third coordinate, right here, is where you want it to be cloned. So 8150 is right over here. So when I stand on top of this chest, my position says 8150. So yeah, that's how it works. So the first two coordinates for the clone command is the positioning of the chest. And then the final one is where you want it to actually be cloned. And if you look here, this is the second one. It's 8150 for the, for the last coordinate because it's always getting cloned to the same final position. It's always getting cloned over there, no matter what the value is. Whereas the first two coordinates are different since it's a different chest. So 79, 4, negative 8, 79, 4, negative 8. You can see these ones are the same coordinates as well, since it's only one block that you're cloning. So yeah, if I stand here, it's 79, 4, negative 8 on my position, and that's also what it said in the command block. And I'll just show you that the rest of the clone commands also have coordinates in relation to their actual chest. So yeah, this is also loot number 2, and that's chest loot number 2. So these coordinates for chest loot number 3 is 81, 4, negative 8, 81, 4, negative 8. Then we go here, that's loot number 3, and it's 84, 81, sorry, 4, negative 8. Then chest loot 4 is 83, 4, negative 8, 83, 4, negative 8. And yeah. I guess you can see the pattern. So for chest loot number 5, it's 85, 4, negative 8, 85, 4, negative 8, 
and the final coordinate remains the same because it's the same position that it's getting cloned to. So yeah, 84, 85 for negative 8, and that's chest loot number 5. Yeah, I think I should do that, yeah. Okay, thank you for watching this video guys, and if you liked it, please subscribe <laughs> and like the video if you want to. Thank you. Bye.